I get a lot of questions on my channel, everything from what camera should I buy to what type of lens do I need for a certain type of photography. But the one question I get asked the most when it comes to the Nikon D850, I think will surprise a lot of people. Wait, where the baby? Hello and thanks for tuning in. You know, I make a lot of D850 videos here on my channel and with time permitting, I do my best to answer those questions with people that are having difficulties with camera or with photography in general. When it comes to the D850 here, the one question I get asked the most is from people having trouble with the focus selector getting stuck or frozen both in their viewfinder and in live view. It appears a lot of people have had or are having this issue, myself included, and it happened to me at one of the most inopportune times you could possibly think of when I had pythons swimming straight at me in a waterfall that I was shooting. Oh yeah, just love those Aussie critters. Let me set up, come and have a look, and I'll show you what's happening. Depending on the type of focus mode you're using, in this case, I'm using single point autofocus as an example. You can move it around on your subjects in your viewfinder or in the live view screen via the multi-selector or joystick on the back of the D850. You can even touch the back screen in live view to move the focus on what you want. However, people are getting this. The focus area selector is stuck or frozen in one position and won't move and they've done everything to try and fix it. Some turning their camera on and off, some even removing their battery, but to no avail. Well, here's the culprit. Around the multi-selector, there's a lock switch. And when operating the D850, you can inadvertently bump it because it's very easy to do. When you've got your eye on the viewfinder and you're fiddling around with buttons on the back, it's one of those things that can easily be knocked by your thumb. So by simply unlocking that switch, you'll find you can move the focus selector again. If you want to quickly reset back to the middle of the screen, you can set it up in the menu under controls, F2, multi-selector button. So when you push that multi-selector in the middle and boom, back to the middle in the preset position where it started in both the viewfinder and in live view. Now I know there are gonna be some out there that are watching this video are gonna be like, <sighs> What a butter! Everyone knows it's in the manual. Friend, your pop tarts are ready. Hey, I'm in the bathroom, ma. Oh. Yeah, unlike Trent, there there are some out there that might have just bought the D850, or they may not know the answer to the focus selector issue after looking everywhere for it. Another interesting side note: when the Nikon or Nikon Z7 came out you'll notice that lock switch around the multi-selector was removed. Well, hopefully this video helps someone out there in YouTube land. Never stop creating and I'll see you next time. Ah, Trent, what a character.